Miss Dane, do you have any questions for the witness? I do, my lady. I'll keep it short. The court will appreciate that. This is Medida. How many people would you say that your mother supports financially, including you, your daughter, and your husband? Uh, from the top of my head, mm. my family, in, including some community members, I would say 20. 20? Yeah, 20. Uh, and would you say that the accused has been consistent and reliable in providing for these 20 people? Yes or no, please? Yes, she has been. Thank you. I just have one last question for you, Mrs. Medida. Have you ever seen the accused go out of her way to intentionally cause harm to someone, not just threaten them? Yes. Yes, yes, I have. She once told me to get into the car with her. I, I thought we were just going for a drive. And then she stopped on the side of the road and, and hijacked innocent people. She said that she wanted to show me this is how she makes a living. But the thing is, my lady, the witness has just shared a crime she claims the accused is guilty of, and yet she failed to report the crime herself. How can the court trust this witness, my lady? Especially since it's come to light that she attacked Tati and Daba with a knife because she felt unfairly treated when her mother changed her will. My lady, I put it to you that this witness has her own tendency for violence. And I also put it to you that this arrest, this entire case, is nothing more than an attempt for Mrs. Medida to get back at her mother. I have nothing further. Thank you, my lady. I mean... Do I need to remind you that you are under oath, Mr. Ndlovu? Me, me and Eddie, we... we... We, we hooked up every once in a while. For what? Tertiary school excursions, Bible studies, hooked up. What does hooked up mean? Tell the court what hooked up means. Me, me, me and Eddie, we were, we were in a casual relationship. Hey, Amen. Sounds more sexual to me. You stabbed Edward Satoli in a jealous rage, didn't you? I bet you did. Lady, you stabbed really, him in a jealous there really rage. There is no need for these theatrics. Miss Stain is badgering the witness. Apologies, my lady. I'll rephrase the question. <laughs> Mr. Ndlovu, on the night in question, were you sexually intimate with Edward Satoli? Yes, I was. Did you engage yeah. in any kind of sexual act that included my client as well as Edward Satoni? Yes. Edward liked my client, didn't he? He liked him more than he liked you. You're a waiter, correct? And there's my client, spoiled little rich boy. You're this meager little waiter just struggling to make ends meet and your lover prefers my client. He liked him more than he liked All you. All I know is Eddie liked me. Not this rich boy man over there. Like On the night in question, Eddie told me that Andy Law's going to have drugs and alcohol, maybe passes out. Then me and him were going to have fun. But Andy Law didn't pass out. So it didn't go according to your plan, did it? Yeah, he kept on going on about the stupid fiancés of his. I just wanted him to shut up. You wanted him to shut up, so what? You tried to stab him? No. You meant to stab Andile, but you stabbed Edward Satoli by accident, didn't you? <laughs> Would you say you and goodness are civil towards each other? Yes. Would you say that she now approves of your relationship with her mother? Yes, very much. Why do you, why do you think she had a problem with you in the beginning? Well, you see, um, it's it's the death of the of the younger brother, goodness, younger brother, a gift. Um, so it's just the two of them now, and 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 goodness is just very protective and overprotective of her mother. Protective to the point that she would visit your place of work and threaten you with a firearm. Uh, that was just a mistake. I'm sure she regrets it now. Why? 
because you've uh, proved your love for her mother? Uh, yes, yes. How did you do that? How did you prove your love for her mother? You see, I, well, um, <laughs> you know... Are you using this testimony to make goodness like you? Objection! The witness hasn't even answered the first question yet. You are well aware of the fact that goodness does not approve of this relationship, and you saw this as the perfect opportunity to ingratiate yourself to her. I will object. I... Objection! She's badgering the witness. Yes. My lady, if you'll bear with me, I will demonstrate that this witness is not credible. The witness will answer the question. I don't need to prove myself to anyone. And in fact, Gracious made it very clear that she's not going to be dictated to by anyone who she's dating and who she falls in love with. And oh goodness, she backed away long ago. How do you know my client? Oh, Tabis? Yes. Oh, I, um, I've been a fan of his since he was in the minor leagues. Are you friends? Friends, no, but uh, uh, we became close when he moved into the house. Do you think he's capable of what he's being accused of? I don't know what he's capable of. But you lived in the same house as him and goodness. I mean, surely you saw what their relationship was like. Um, I only saw what he chose to show us. I don't know what happens behind closed doors between him and goodness. My lord, the applicant is seeking to paint the picture of my client having exerted undue influence over the late Mr. Sebastian Price. Now, the evidence, however, will prove that Mr. Price was of sound mind when he wrote the will, and that by law, the will of the testator is ironclad. My lord, the irrefutable fact of the matter is that the will of the testator is clear and unambiguous. This entire case is nonsensical and completely unnecessary. And based on those circumstances, we'll be seeking cost orders. Thank you. Ms. Price? Mrs. Price, please. How much did he leave to you? How much? Mm. In the will, Ms. Price. How much did he leave you? Nothing. So, the ex-wife of a deceased man, divorced well over 25 years ago, is now trying, and I quote, to reclaim what is rightfully mine. Sebastian Price left me nothing, which is right. But he never stopped loving his children, not for one moment. And to think that he left them absolutely nothing? I mean, either he was a heartless beast who didn't care whether his progeny lived or died, or someone got him, someone warped his mind and changed his will. I'm sorry. I just, I find, I really struggle to believe that someone who called his company legacy would just all of a sudden stop caring for his own, his own children. No further questions, my lord. Mrs. Price? Yes. Please sign your name. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is yours. What is this? Huh? What's going on here? Okay. It's a summons. Mm -hmm. You've been called to testify tomorrow. Is that bad? It's not good. 